Hello everyone and welcome to this Swift installation tutorial for X-Plane 11. In order to download the Swift you will have to go to this page over here. Uh, you can find it, find it under the uh, video descriptions of course. Uh, so no issues there. Once you get to this page you will need to download two things. The actual Swift client and the plugin to which Swift client will connect to. So this is for explain now. What you do is you go and find the uh, corresponding uh, OS version of your uh, computer. So in this case I'm using Windows 10 which is a 64-bit and I intend to download this executable file over here. Now, just before we do that, what we need to make sure is that to remember this number over here. This is very vital. For, as I explained earlier, you will have to download both this plugin and this client. And they need to be the same version. So just double check before you do anything that these numbers over here and over here are the same. So once you download, uh, once you download the actual client itself, just pause and go and head back to this page and download the X Swift Bus plugin. Once downloaded and extracted, you will then need to place the plugin itself inside your explain resources plugins folder as I did here. Open it up and just make sure that this XSwift bus folder plugin folder contains uh, 32 and 64 bits uh, uh, what I would say I apologize 64 bit uh, folders. So once that is done, you know you are set. As I explained earlier, what you need to do here is you need to make sure to simply download uh, download this um, client. So let's let's do that. There we go. Okay, um, either way, uh, just make sure that you bock, bock in every setting uh, that is on default. So just leave it as it is and make sure that during the install you select the proper um, simulators you are using. In my case it is P3D and x -Plane. So make sure that those, uh, the simulator you are using is bocked during the installation. Once the actually installation is completed um, this Swift configuration wizard will open up so this is what most people have trouble with let's start here uh, we are going to agree on Swift license and privacy and we are going to enable Sunday crash reports to help improve the software you click on next now over here you just need to make sure that uh, these uh, database um, lights are on yellow and everything is set. That means that everything is synced. If it isn't synced uh, and numbers on both the shared count and database count are pretty much the same, except maybe here under the models tab, um, just make sure to leave it on until the actual uh, yellow lights are displayed as you can see here. So let us just uh, skip, let us click on next over here. So during the first installation you don't have any models over here at all. So uh, you just skip this. 
and of course copy settings and caches no need for this we are going to skip yet again and over here what you need to do is you need to make sure to buck in the simulator you are using in uh, this case I am going to be using explain so explain is all I need so just click on simulator XP for explain and buck it up over here now next things uh, next thing is to make sure that your simulator directory is correctly placed so this is my main explain directory over here uh, next thing is to make sure that uh, you cl model directory is basically a CSL folder and uh, this contains your models so during this step before we do any of this we need to go up to this link which is to download bluebell csl and vertical offset fix so once you are here you just click on this link over here so everything that this contains just make sure that you download it and uh, of course the vertical offset fix is going to contain each and every of, every of these um, how should I call them model user groups just extract the contents of the vertical offset fix inside each and every corresponding uh, folder inside the CSL folder in my case I put the CSL folder inside custom data and you can use pretty much with whichever object 8 version uh, you like and you can use the bluebell as well so you can use multiple without any issues uh, now you can do what I did and uh, you could also uh, just place it as per instructions inside this folder um, uh, let's see like this CSL. this would work too and um, pretty much automatically but in the case you want it somewhere else yeah uh, yeah so that's that uh, let's see resources plugins there we go okay perfect so head back here once that is done and the CSL models are extracted uh, you will then have to go let's see here I apologize go here Sell, uh, set the correct directories so this is the way uh, it looks like for me and just make sure to click on next okay so here comes the tricky part <coughs> uh, you will need to make sure to select <laughs> you will need to make sure that uh, this before mentioned step uh, is already set and placed and in the case this model directory for you is incorrect you will have to change it so you click on change and just assign it now this over here will contain probably 64 models which is explained default one and not 3900 as I have um, what you will need to do is you will have to go to create button and click on it uh, let's see there we go and once you are here just make sure that you see uh, pretty much uh, quite a lot of models as uh, the CSL should contain over 3000 models so just make sure that you have these amount of uh, models inside this particular tab once that is done you make sure to click on save so just click on save so and once that is done you click on a reload button and that's that if the installation went correctly you should be able to see over 3000 models 
inside this model set and under models should, uh, there should be of course over 3000 models loaded as well. Uh, once this is done you click on next and over here let's just uh, check that uh, everything is correct. Install directory for the XSwift bus. Now uh, I recommend you go through this step but uh, please do remember that uh, unfortunately for me when I just use uh, this window to install the the X Swift bus it didn't work for me so I had to do it manually this is the way this is why I am actually showing you and why you should do it manually as well if it doesn't if this automatic download doesn't work for you so we already know that this is downloaded, but let's just for the fairness download it yet again. Inside the XSwift bus setting, make sure that the data bus P2P, P2, uh, peer to peer server to computers is selected. So this is the way it should be. And just uh, click on download and next. Over here next uh, configuration window is uh, we need to make sure that our hotkeys are correctly configured so you click on add you make sure to click on press click on voice activate push to talk and uh, just click on uh, select now you may click on any button on your joystick or keyboard or whatever uh, to be used as your push to talk button. Button 2 and click on OK. If this was done correctly, something like this should be seen on your window. Click on finish. OK. So now we are here. Projects. There we go. So now we are here, and this is the Swift launcher. Uh, yeah, the Swift launcher needs to be in core mode, under standalone, and database peer-to-peer -peer server needs to be ticked in. Once this is done, you click on GUI. And this little window will open up. So uh, once this is done and you have this window open, you may start your explain. Now resume last flight. Okay, so here we are with Xplain started. One second. With Xplain started now, uh, you can see that uh, the Swift client is displaying these two um, yellow lights. So if everything was installed correctly, you should be able to see the simulator, which is Martin yellow of course and of course uh, the mapper should be yellow as well in addition with the audio so uh, 
Okay, so as you can see here, model validation for X-Plane. Uh, let's see, so out of 3812, we have two invalid models. So if this comes up to you, just make sure that you click on this button, which is to disable both of these. There we go. Two models disabled. Close. So once this is done, you may now connect to your uh, two Vatsen via this button over here. Now this video is not going to cover uh, the particular connection and stuff like that. This was just the installation itself. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps.